In this short video, we're going to take a look at the add-on called Flubaru. If you're using Google Forms and you create a multiple choice quiz for the students to take, you can easily use the add-on Flubaru and it will grade all your tests for you. It'll be a huge time saver for you. Once you're finished creating a Google Form and you post the link and students take the quiz, you will have responses. You can click view responses to view all the responses for your quiz. Normally, if I'm the teacher and I'm creating a quiz, as soon as I'm finished with the quiz, I actually take the quiz myself first. So my first answer is from me as the teacher. And what I like to do is go in and take it as a student and put in the correct answers. And you'll see why that's going to come in useful in a minute when we use Flubaru. I've already installed Flubaru, but Flubaru is an add-on. So once you're inside your responses spreadsheet, you're going to click on add-ons. And once you've installed Flubaru, you will see Flubaru. If you don't have Flubaru installed yet, you are going to click Add-ons. You're going to search for Flubaru and you're going to install it. It's going to ask for rights and permissions to view your My Drive documents. And you're going to go ahead and do that so it can access your information. When you have Flubaru installed and you're ready to grade an assignment, you're going to click Grade Assignment and it's going to walk you through. Flubaru Grading Step 1. Please select a grading option for each of the questions in the assignment. Flubaru has done its best to guess the best option for you, but you should check the options to make sure um, for yourself. So it's done pretty good for me. It says that question number one is a student identifier. If it wasn't, I could change that. Or I could even say, skip grading on a question. But this identifies the student. Question number two identifies the student. So that was a good choice. If I scroll down, it starts with all of my questions. And if I want each of my questions to be worth one point, I can leave it at one point. If I want some of my questions to be worth more, I can go ahead and change it and I can make those questions worth more. Or maybe I just have a question and I want their opinion. I can say skip grading on it if I just wanted their opinion for a question. But all of these are multiple choice questions and they are worth one point each. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to say continue. Next, Flubaru Grading Step 2. Please select which submission should be used as the answer key. Typically, this will be the submission made by you, the teacher. All other submissions will be graded against the answer key, so take care to ensure that you select the correct one. That's why I usually go in and take my quiz first if I'm the teacher. So I'm going to go ahead and click my answer, and I know it's mine because I said teacher. And once I'm finished, I can click the Continue button. Flubaru, grading complete. Grading has completed. A new worksheet called Grades has been created for you. This worksheet contains a grade for each submission and a summary of all grades at the top. Note, the grade sheet is not meant to be modified in any way, as this can interfere with emailing grades. If you need to modify this sheet, copy it and modify the copy. Click here to view your grades. So if you notice, at the bottom of your spreadsheet, you now have a new tab. You had one that said Student Submissions, and after you ran the Flubaru add-on, you have a second tab that now says Grades, and you can check the grade for each of your students. That's pretty cool. You don't have to spend a lot of time grading the assignment. It does it for you, and you know exactly what each student has earned, 
So I think Flubaroo is going to save you a lot of time. I think you'll be excited to try this add-on and use it in your classroom.